Hey guys, I hope you're all doing all right. So today I'm going to show you how to make basic foliage without using any textured brush. Just going to use some basic Photoshop brushes uh, to create uh, foliages or trees, etc. So let's just start. Okay, so drawing individual leaves is very time consuming and uh, it is a hard job to do. So we use certain brushes and create the design of trees and leaves. Also these brushes are good to use different textures uh, on an image. Like in this image I used it not just on the bushes but also on the trees, the trunks and as a um, texture for mosses and to make it look richer and better. So first I'll fill it up with a grey background so that whatever I draw will look better or give better idea because grey is more of a neutral colour. So first we have to determine from which way the light is falling because um, I'm trying to draw a tree so it will be in nature and mostly during daytime so there will be sun so the light direction is important. Now here are a few brushes that I generally use for the drawing. These are the typical texture brushes that comes with Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6. So these are the brushes. You can see what kind of texture they give. I use different brushes at different times. You can use any of these brushes. These brushes have a natural look. So for the time being, I'm using this one and just turning on the shape dynamics and uh, the transfer option both with pen pressure since I'm using a tablet and this gives a good texture with different density also from here you can change angle uh, to give it more variety so I am just starting with the basic color the darker color here I'm going to draw from darker to lighter now see here I can change the uh, roundness of the brush so this part is important so this arrow is for changing its direction and those two little dots are for changing its roundness so i'm done with creating basic shape with the dark blue color is the shadow of the tree because light is going to fall from top right corner so the below part will be shadowy and the top part will be more into the light so more greenish now I'm taking a dark green color and start uh, shading the top part of the mask that I have created. Now here you can see that this part will be more into the light and this part will be into the dark so the below part will be more bluish and dark. It's already giving this layered feeling. Now shading with a bit more darker green to blend both the color better. Now I'm giving a little bit of uh, blue shades in between to give the idea of layered leaves. Now shading it with a bit lighter green on top. Now this is up to you what kind of shade you will give. I'm giving lighter green shade on the top right side mainly because the light is falling from that side. Now shading with a bit yellowish greenish color because I want to show that the light is reflecting on the leaves. So it will give a very shiny look yet it will create dynamics between all the colors. So this way I keep on uh, shading. Now I'm going back to the darker colors and trying to construct the shadowy part properly so that it sits well with the rest of the green. Now it already looks like a bush or a foliage, the kind of foliage we want to draw. It has a very artistic feelings. Now you can give a, another specific kind of brush uh, on it to give it more sharpness. What I do is uh, take the basic round brush, medium hard or hard round brush and then change its angle and its roundness and then I turn on the shape dynamics and scattering option as well as the transfer option keeping pin pressure on and I also increase size jitter uh, in shape dynamics and the scattering and spacing depends on you this particular brush will give you more precise look so if you want to give more precise leafy look you can use this brush along with a basic texture brush here I'm kind of giving the similar color combination as I gave with the basic texture brush now adding a bit yellowish shade to it I'm adding a bit on the sides of the darker part. It gives um, a separate leafy impression. I'm just adding a little bit of branches to show you how it looks. 
I'm not going to draw the entire tree because it's just for foliages. I'm just adding these branches to make it look better. Adding few branches on the sides over here and adding leaves with the customized brush I made with the basic round brush. Now just using little bit of dodge and burn tool to uh, change its looks but it's not necessary. Now made a new layer and changed it to overlay mode and with a soft brush I'm just brushing a bit of orange color on top of the leaves and blurring it a bit and then I'm just clipping that layer to the original layer that I drew so that it will give a sunny feeling. Now if you want to give more precise look to your foliages you can just use this last brush I made uh, and draw a bush or foliage or tree like this. Just change its direction while painting because leaves do not grow in a very well ordered way. Just change it according to your choice and you can change its roundness, its direction, everything while painting. I'm just using a dark orange then on top a little lighter and finishing it up with yellow color and it's the same method the way I painted the previous one only I'm using a different brush the brush I created just adding few branches here putting both the examples side by side now you can see there's a visible difference in texture in both the paintings so these brushes can be used to create different types of trees, different types of bushes, etc. Now, after making this brush, just go here from new brush preset and save the brush that you made while painting and you will have it for later use as well. It is saved in your brush preset. So, this is how you can paint basic foliages. You can use textures different textures or other methods as well but this is just for the beginners and for people who are just learning how to paint in photoshop i hope you like this small tutorial if you do please subscribe my channel and watch my other videos and if you have any suggestion just comment below thanks for watching